Lindholm, Connor McDavid to face it off. Yamamoto and Dry Seidel for the Oilers. Kachuk and Johnny Gaudreau, the Game 7 hero for Calgary out there. Rasmus Anderson. And now played ahead, Gaudreau. Anderson on the move, and he's got Lindholm open to the first shot. Scores! And this is just a play through the neutral zone that Bouchard came in the neutral zone and pinched. Now he's got two defensemen on the same player and neither able to block the shot. Lindholm with a bouncing puck takes an extra second. Mike Smith deep in his net, down early. Talk of this game, the Calgary Flames like starting quickly. The Oilers at times have given up. Right back to work goes Blake Coleman. Works the corner, knocks it loose. Backlund on the puck to center. pass in front. Scores! Andrew Mangiapane. And the Flames on fire in a red-hot opening minute. Has to take a timeout. I think he is going to. His team's running around. Look at it again. Two guys chasing the same man. Good read there by Backlund, a no-look pass, and Smith on the goal line down again. Mangiapati left all alone in front, a bouncing puck off the post and in. A rattled Edmonton Oiler team here to start, and Jay Woodcroft has seen enough. 51 seconds, two goals against. Kulak at center, and on the move is McDavid. Six multi-point games in round one, and a shot on Markstrom. Calgary plays it ahead, and Lucic at center, lost the puck. Dean is bumped by Richie, scores! And now you got transition, again, neutral zone troubles. A turnover there by Kane, and that's one that Mike Smith has to have. Richie back in the lineup, he's been the forward that's gone when it's been 7 and 11. Out to center ice, good Branson plays it back in, and Brett Kulak ahead. Tyson Berry's on the move. Wide on Zadora, but a shot right on and a rebound. And a big hit there along the boards in front. Connor David scores! And Edmonton gets one back. Real scrum off that face off. Finally claimed by the Oilers. Back when Around for Mangiapane, and now a shot by Anderson, loose in front, Coleman scores! And it's back to a three-goal Calgary lead! Nugent Hawkins was out there against the control line. Instead of keeping them out there, he changes the matchup. Look at Coleman with the big hit, Mangiapane down in front of the net, the rebound is there, and after Coleman makes his hit, he turns around and comes right to the front of the net and wins that battle. CC trying to take care of Mangiapane, Nurse in front of Koskinen can't find the loose puck. Well, what a performance by Jake Ottinger, who almost spoiled this battle with Alberta Party. Trevor Lewis in deep. There's a point shot score! Deflected in front! And it looks like Blake Coleman has doubled down! Top line that gets all the goals. They started the pressure. You had two straight shifts in the offensive zone for the Calgary Flames. Now Coleman comes off the bench, flying, gets left all alone, a shot from the point, and he walks right into it. Lewis with the shot back. The first line had pressure. The fourth line kept it on, and then Coleman jumps on to make the change for his line, and he gets the goal. Bay on the board check out there along with Tafoli. Duncan Keith off the boards ahead. Off McDavid to dry settle. Looking to get it back to McDavid. He swivels away to Duby in front. Scores! What a beauty! McDavid sets up Evan Bouchard. Doorstep. What agility there by McDavid. The quick shot and Bouchard coming in. Goudreau finds Tyler to Foley. Not able to pull the trigger. Gets it again. Goudreau. Turned back by McLeod. Now centers. Let the score. Deflected in by Kachuk.
Now Johnny Gaudreau, puck to the front of the net, rebound up high, and a little bat in. Baseball play by Kachuk. He's got inside positioning on Nurse. The rebound off, and there's the family's reaction. Duncan keeps it his own zone. What a look clear. Richie had it knocked down, and away goes Cassian. Zach Cassian works his way in. Got the shot away scores. That fools Markstrom. And Edmonton gets one back. He fools the goaltender through the body of Stone and just off the cheater there on the glove and just tucked up in the... Here comes Yamamoto, dropping it off. A chance for Sheepsy in front. And Newton Hopkins rolled it wide. Ivan trying to get away from Good Branson. Here's Zach Hyman working out in front. Scores! Zach Hyman's got two. And now it's a two-goal deficit. Watch down on his knees back deep in his zone. You saw the earlier one that went up and over. That time he got the glove up. Leafs and Lightning combined for 10 in a game. Colorado and Nashville, 10 in a game. And here's McDavid. Maybe a chip break here. Dry center scores! It's a one-goal game here in the final minute of the second period. All eyes on Dreisaitl. Look at how deep he is here. Okay, does he have a bad leg? Well, he can jump up. The puck's there. And then he wins the battle on Anderson. Dreisaitl comes out with McDavid and Yamamoto. Connor McDavid with the most ice time. 16-10 to the end. And a big stop rebound. Scores! Kyler Yamamoto. And the game is tied. We've seen a lot of twists and turns. Here's just a round, a little pick by the linesman. What a save there with the toe of Markstrom. Rajapati goes to the front. A sharp angle shot off Paskinen. Here's Aaron Kroon. Banks it in from Rajapati. Centers and Anderson scores! Rasmus Anderson! And the Flames get it back! And what a turnaround for Anderson. Got drifting to one side. Anderson found his opportunity. Now he's in tight. And how about this one? Underneath the glove. Kicks it back to Michael Stone. And that shot blocked in front. Still loose. And Holy Arby ahead for Dreisaitl. And that hit a skate. Stayed in. Kachuk breakaway. Score! And Kane, but Kachuk ends up coming out, and it proves costly for the Oilers. A turnover there, by It's Newton Hopkins through center. Boskin is starting to ease out of the net, and he's headed back to the Oiler bench. So the extra attacker back on the net is empty, and it's empty for Kachuk, who's got the hat trick. A huge goal in Game Seven to tie things up. His first goal of the playoff. Well, and Lucic have other plans. And the clock is still actually going. And I think West McCauley just trying to get this thing over. And it's McLeod and Lucic.